So I just watch me some One Piece. I think I'm going to need a bigger slice. All right, Netflix's anime adaptation One Piece just dropped. Just watched the first episode. And I just felt the need to put out a video because I thought it was interesting, important. And, uh, you know, I'm somebody who's... I, I, I will fully admit I've never watched One Piece. But I did watch Cowboy Bebop, and I watched the Cowboy Bebop live anime, like live adaptation, and I had... I, I've seen um, Full Metal Alchemist, and I watched the live adaptation of that, even though it's made in... You know, it's Japanese adaptation. And I said, Netflix... How dare you bring me another live adaptation of something. Again, I've not seen One Piece. I've not read the manga. I don't know anything about it. Like, literally nothing. I know there's a stretchy kid and something about pirates. But I watched this and I said, this is kind of fun. I kind of enjoyed it. I actually didn't hate something for once. Shocking, I know. And for Netflix, and don't get me wrong, it could be totally bunk, could be totally awful. We'll get the good, bad, and ugly out of the way first. Well, let's talk about the ugly. It's filmed on digital cameras. Looks kind of ugly. Costumes aren't great. People have weird pink wigs and blue wigs and weird glasses. But what I do understand is that the world is not the normal world, so I can kind of accept that. They've placed me into an extreme world of real weird stuff, and they use just enough CGI for me to be like, okay, it's fine. It's not the best looking show I've ever seen, but what it does have, which is a little bit different, which is the good, is it's fun and charming, and the casting seems okay. And again, if you're a One Piece purist, Tell me if I'm wrong. Like, maybe I am on crack. But I would say as someone who has been reviewing quite a bit of stuff for many years now, it's not so bad. I'm not so worried about it. I'm actually thinking I could watch the next couple episodes. Why? Because, and a lot of it so far has to do with this dumbass kid, who this lead character. The kid is so stupid and naive but brings it with so much charm that I'm like, I actually buy this kid. He's so silly. Because he just keeps he keeps saying to people, he's like, well, what do you want? And they tell him what they want. And he's like, well, you should go do that, regardless of whether or not he benefits from it. And I think that is an admirable trait to have. So I thought this was pretty interesting so far. It's paced pretty well. I understand the world. I don't have to like... It's not The Witcher where I have no idea what's going on. I can clearly place it. It's in, you know, some ocean somewhere and they don't like pirates. But everybody wants, you know, this super mega pirates. I mean, that's the plot is there's some super mega pirate king collected a lot of treasure. Says, hey, he's about to get executed. Go get my treasure, friends. It's all yours now because I'm not around to get it. So he, everybody's like, treasure, baby, I'm in. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in. Let's go get it. So they all run out and get it. And then after 20 years, this kid is like, yeah, man. He's been trying to join a pirate ship. I like the little flashbacks. I understand what happened. The kid eats some dumb fruit and gets real weird and stretchy. <laughs> and this world is just crazy. He uh, goes on the boat of some weird pirate lady and he punches her right in the face, which is hilarious <laughs> he just knocks her right off the boat with this weird he's like mr fantastic for some reason he eats some gummy fruit thing and becomes super stretchy hey it's a weird world somebody's got to do it <laughs> so like it's just the show is dumb but funny and charming at the same time there's like some super hyper serious ninja guy who <laughs> He's so serious, he has he doesn't have two katanas. He has three katanas. And the kid keeps saying, like, where does that third katana go? And he sticks it in his mouth. There's a dude with an axe hand. Like, this world is just bonkers. But bonkers in a good way. And bonkers in a way 
that um, somehow Cowboy Bebop just didn't pull off. I, I don't get it. And some of the actors from Cowboy Bebop actually... See, I feel like this show has zero agenda. It's just like, look, we're trying to adapt this really weird, dumb anime. And from what I understand, the anime has like a bajillion episodes. It's like the longest thing ever. The lead character's name is Monkey D. Luffy or something like that. I know, I don't know. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. And guess what? <laughs> Apparently, it's doing... I'm not the only person who thinks it's kind of fun. So I hope you anime purists are just like... I think the general consensus, as someone who's watched quite a bit of anime, as I've listed some of it before, the general consensus is love. Pe or, uh, One Piece is fine. It's not like the greatest thing ever. It's just okay. It doesn't have like any sort of higher morality or anything it's trying to... It's not Hunter x Hunter. It's not, you know, Evangel Evangelion. It's not trying to do anything, you know. It's not Attack on Titan. It's just like a fun adventure show. Shonen thing. And uh, it's just fun. And this cap I I'm just guessing, captures the fun of it. And this lead character kid, this kid is so stupid. It's re he's he's really good. I like him. I think he if he wasn't in it and everybody else was as serious as they were, it would be really hard to take this. But somehow this kid is charming enough to make it work cuz he's so gangly. I mean, the kid his arms are so freaking long. It's pretty freaking it's pretty hilarious. And there is a girl with, she's got some big boobas. So I'll take that as well. Um, it's so bizarre. One Piece Netflix adaptation received a solid 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, surpassing the show's already positive critic uh, score. And I haven't done any, I, don't, I haven't listened to anything. I don't know what uh, people who know about the anime and know about the manga, I don't know anything. I'm literally going into this blind. I just watched it. I'm coming right up to talk to you guys. So tell me if I'm wrong. But it was fun. And I only got through one episode. Maybe the rest of it is junk. I watched a little bit of the preview for the next episodes. It just looks like it's funny. Monkey D. Luffy. And the kid's name is Inyaki Godoy. No idea. But he's, <laughs> he's pretty funny. He's got real long stretchy arms. I like his backstory so far. I have no idea what's going on. But it's basic. The kid wants to... He wants a map. He's excited about a map because he wants to become king of the pirate. Dude, who doesn't want to win? Or who doesn't want to be the best pirate you can possibly be? And who doesn't want to get a giant treasure thing that you can just find? I'm still looking for Blackbeard's gold. And I'm still looking to be a good pirate, not a Somali pirate. So let me know what you guys think. I just I just had to come up and, and say it's good. It, I'm praising it. I'm saying it's fun. And, you know, Netflix is hard to tell what's going to happen. I don't know that I even care about a season two because I haven't gotten that far into it. But episode one, which I guess is the pilot so far, I know we made fun of it in the past. I may have been wrong, and I'm okay with that. Because if it's something I'm going to enjoy and something you can enjoy... Let's celebrate it. Let's have fun with this. Maybe we'll review each episode. I didn't break down the plot or anything. I just gave you some like little bits and tits and tads and tried not to spoil anything. Watch the first one. Let me know what you think, and we'll reconvene. Maybe we'll talk about the second one. But I'd also like you to check out our podcast. It's free. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. There's a live stream. We do 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that I will link up here. Check it out. Do us a favor, because we love you. You love us. This is mutual, baby. But as for myself, I am on to the next one. Mm -hmm.